Okay, here's a little video of the improvements I'm making on my uh, my mini mill. Um, I've upgraded all the motor drivers to uh, the Gecko G251s. I actually bought these when they first came out with the reduced price sale. Um, just finally getting around to it. And I got five of them there. Three for the XYZ A, and then a fifth one that I'll probably use for some kind of tool changer. Um, there's the CNC 4PC. I believe that's the C23 board. Um, and then the smooth stepper in the back there, hooked onto it with some cables that I made. Um, that's the power supply. Um, it's, it's uh, it's actually a 56 volt output, but uh, I have it wired for 240 with only 110 going into it, so I'm only getting a uh, 30 volts output, um, and it's it's staying nice and cool, so that's not a problem. And then uh, that little guy right there is our 5 volts to run the rest of the board here. So if I uh, let's plug in the power supply, you can watch the uh, board light up. There we go. And uh, that little thud was the motors coming to life. So they're all locked in position right now. There's no current limit resistors yet because I'm just trying it out. But uh, i got a little program here. We can uh, cut a circle. Um, I have it overridden as fast as it'll go. Um, the y-axis is actually the, uh, the limiting factor. Um, so i got to check that out. But um, yeah, I'll run it for you. It's going to take a second. So it's a blended speed of about 65 inches a minute. Watch the board down there. It's all working pretty good so far. Next step is to finish getting the column back together with a new Z axis. And uh, finish up. We're going to change out the lights in the cabinets with some fluorescence. Keep it nice and cool in there. Finish. Redo the coolant system. Tore it all out. Wasn't happy with it. It's a pile of stuff over here. So, we'll try some new stuff and uh, hopefully we end up with something good.